we're going to pray for them because you pray for people to have a safe trip. But before we do, I feel a few words to encourage you with. I want you to know that um, the Lord is sending his angel before you to go down there. And you've been very obedient following your husband here and there, but he's going to give you strength going down. Just like he has taken some broken things in your past and he's mended them together, he wants you to know that he delights in you and he delights in the prosperity of his servants. And that doesn't just mean money. It means in the satisfaction and the joy and the fulfillment that you find in life. So he's going to go before you. He's going to give you a church down there. And she's going to love it. She's going to love the church down there. So we're sending you off with a prophetic word that the angel of the Lord encamps around them that fear him and you fear him. And so this is going to be a good thing. A hot thing, but a good thing. <laughs> All right. How many of Texas is hot? All right. Now I'm going to put my hand towards them. I'm going to ask you guys. When we pray sometimes, we bless them. We put our right hand towards them. So put your right hand towards Myrna and Silvana, and we're going to pray. Father, we bless them in the name of the Lord. We release them from Connecticut, from this church with a blessing. Lord, your angel will go before them like your angel went before Eliezer to get a bride for Isaac, and your angel will go before them to bring them to a good place, to a good house, to a good community, to a good school, to a good church, because you are a good God. Watch over them. And Lord, let them have joy in the journey, in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening to the teaching from the Word of God. My name is Paul Height. I'm the pastor of Evangelical Christian Church, located at 1325 Watertown Ave., in Waterbury, Connecticut. We would love to have you join us and worship Jesus Christ this coming Sunday at 1030. Now may God bless you, and may he continue to cause you to grow in the grace and the knowledge of his son, Jesus Christ.